hello guys welcome back so now in this section we are going to compress the video file size which we are going to upload which the user is going to upload as you know that a video can have a big size and we do not want our server for example in the current scenario we are using firebase storage as our backend for our video files so we do not want our servers to be overloaded you know with the actual video size so we will compress the size of the video which can you know like uh, decrease the size of the overall video you can say so this way we can save our money and storage you know we can have a lot of space then we will have available so this is the best idea that is before uploading we have to compress that video file which the user is going to upload we will decrease the size basically of that video file let's say if it has uh, 50 MB size then we will decrease it to medium quality so the size of it will decrease from 50 to 25 so you know this is a big difference and this is how TikTok and other uh, applications do actually so of course on the event of upload now we will start uploading but before doing that we will go step by step you know first of all we are going to create a controller which will basically manage the uploading feature okay using the getx stat management as you know that we are developing this application using the getx stat management so for that purpose what we can do is inside the upload video right click on it and then new dot file and we will simply give it name as uh, upload controller so it will basically hold our uploading methods or you can say uploading feature okay using the getx controller or you can say getx stat management so upload controller and then upload controller and it will extends the getx controller So the first method that we will implement is basically for compressing the video file size which the user is going to upload. So let's name that method as compress video file. And to this method we will pass one thing as a parameter and you already know that that is basically that video file path. So we can say video file path that is from where the user pick this uh, video from his or her phone gallery or when the user start making video using phone camera then you know that it is stored to a local uh, to the temporary storage inside the phone so basically the part to this specific video it will basically get that video you know as we are going to compress that video first so that is the file path okay that is a reference to that video in simple words uh, it is best to just say that a reference to that video so that we can compress only that specific video which the user is going to upload for compressing video we will use a dependency go to the pub.dev site and simply search for video underscore compress this one video underscore compress installing installing and then copy this dependency video underscore compress and then come back here to the project and inside the popspec.yml we can simply add that video compress dependency so it has been added successfully then come back here and if you see this as a suggestion then click on get dependencies and if your app is already running then make sure to close the debugging okay so yeah now this method will be asynchronous as first it will here we will basically compress the video so the compression can take you know two three or let's say 30 seconds I mean the time we have to wait for it that's why okay so we will wait for the compression result that is once the video is compressed successfully then we can proceed so we wait for that okay so we say video compress 
dot compress video and as you know that to this we have to path pass the path the path of the video so to the compress video the our video path we have to pass so we say video file path which is basically the video which the user is going to upload so that path we pass to it as a parameter and the second parameter that we will pass to it is basically put a comma the second parameter is the quality so the quality will be video quality and here you have now the option if you want to keep the video in its original format that is high quality you know the HQ so you have the default quality that is you know the, its original quality then we have the highest quality low quality medium quality and of course then you have other options like you know for the re resolution different resolutions you can see that okay these are different resolutions so it is totally up to you if you want to keep the default quality then you can go with it if you want to keep it in highest quality then you can proceed with this one and if you want to keep it in low quality then you can proceed with this one so it is totally up to you okay whatever you like I will proceed with low quality so what it will do it will basically compress our video it will compress our this video with the quality low quality okay that is let's say if a video has 100 MB size okay if the video has 100 MB size or let's say a very best HD quality then it will decrease the size to let's say 15 MB or 20 MB okay as we are proceeding with the low quality so that's why from 100 to 10 MB to 15 MB it will decrease okay that is let's say if the actual or you can say the default size of a video is 100 MB then after this after the compression this video file size will decrease from 100 to 10 MB so now our video will have a 10 MB size instead of 100 MB so once you're done the compression this is just an example I'm telling you guys okay once is uh, complete the compression what we need to do is we need to simply assign this to compressed video file okay so that compressed video which who which size is decreased now that decreased size video is now inside this variable which is compressed video file now then after it and this method this method will return that video file that compressed video file so we can say return and then we can say compressed video file dot file now let me explain what it will do again okay to this compressed video we pass the video file path that is the user video file path and it basically start the compression according to the quality you set if your quality is low quality then it will compress this video which is available at this path it will compress that video to low quality let's say if your video quality was earlier 100 MB so it will compress it to 10 MB and then as you know that when the compression is performed you already know that I hope you have this idea okay that is whenever we uh, upload video or when we start capturing video or we compress video okay I'm just giving you an example whenever this compression is start you know or when it is completed then this compression compressed video is saved to a temporary path in your mobile phone storage okay this compressed video is stored in your phone temporary storage now that path that is where this video is compressed to low quality we assign that path basically here you know like compressed video file path we can say so we know about that that is this video which is compressed now to low quality it is available in your phone storage you know so that video path that compressed video path we assign to this variable basically as a result of this we get the path you can say to that compressed video file okay that compressed video file path we get now as we have that compressed video file path we want to pick the file from this path 
okay which is already compressed compressed basically that video that compressed video so what we do here we just say compressed video file path okay at this path the file as you know the file is basically the video file so the video file which is available at this path which is basically a compressed video we return that whole compressed video okay this method will return that compressed video file 